Yep, 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 that's a fish. Oh, that's a fish, it's a fish. Oh, holy shit, we've got a fish on. Oh my God. Stop it, stop it. Good fish. Oh, this is a monster. What is this thing? Oh, wow. Have a go at this, would ya? That's unbelievable what just happened, doggies. <gasps> that was an insane way to start the morning. I have been here for four or five minutes, like literally four or five minutes. Look at this. You will not believe what just happened, dude. Oh, I need to chill out, man. That was psycho. Look at it. Unbelievable what just happened then. Hey. What's going on, doggies? <laughs> I actually just hit myself in the face. What's going on, doggies? Welcome back to another video. Oh my God, what a way to start the day. Okay, so I was using this technique where the local people use cotton. They um, throw it out in the current and they just let the cotton, there's no hooks in this, there's nothing in this. They just let this flap and flop in the, um, in the current stream. And then these big dogs, these big dogs come up and bite this. So that is pretty much exactly what happened just then, but with like a major twist. I'm gonna get this back out in the water and then I'll, um, I'll tell you what just happened. I can't even believe it, man. <laughs> All right, so the reason that we've come back to this island is that I wanna redeem myself. So that episode, I suppose a lot of episodes on this channel, we lose a lot of fish and it's due to me using like small gear, light gear. If I wasn't using light gear, I'd probably get most of these fish in, but I really enjoy the challenge of fishing with light gear. So uh, today we're stepping it up. I'm using light gear now but purely because I'm fishing in this way, but later on this afternoon, I'm just waiting for the tide to drop. Right, right now, I'm just killing time, man. Once the tide drops, I'm gonna go over to that other section where we were fishing where I was getting smoked by some big dogs. I've brought my bigger rod this time, so hopefully we'll get one in. And uh, well, that's the plan anyway, anything could happen. But I'll show you what just happened to this fish because man, this is like, ha, it's crazy, dude. All right, check this out. So this is a long time. This is what we've been going for for the so long. So as I actually hooked this fish, a big mama GT came out of the deep, grabbed it. And that's what you saw in the video when my spool was just screaming. Look at this, big bite marks here. So the GT's grabbed it. It's got big, it's obviously like, look at this, it's like crushed its head. So literally put the fish to sleep before I even got it up onto the rocks. It snapped off its front jaw here. Man, this fish just got an absolute flogging, but there you go, that's a big GT. You can tell it's a GT and not a Barracuda because a Barracuda would have just absolutely, would have sliced this in half. Big black GT came out of nowhere, whack, and then just took it, man. That was insane. So this is going to be breakfast. I'm going to cook this up right now and we'll leave that out there. Maybe we'll get another one and this tide should start dropping out soon and we'll go chase some big dogs. But for now, this is going to be our breakfast. Oh, pretty excited. Here we go. We've got the little pocket knife. I've got the gas cooker and we are going to cook this thing up right now because it's breakfast time and uh, well, it's time for breakfast. Beautiful meat. Look at the meat on this thing, dude. All right, so unfortunately my knife is uh, it's blunt, but uh, we'll, do, we'll do what we can. Very bony fish this is. <laughs> Look at this knife. It's only good for spreading butter. But we'll get there. Don't you worry about that. Look at this, man. That's breakfast. One fillet, breakfast time. Lots of little bones run all the way through these. They start from here, all the way up there, and then you've got a long rib cage. Like, this is all rib cage, look at it. But, we're gonna get a beautiful feed out of this. 
All right, I'm just gonna do it like this because this knife is so haggard. We'll just try to follow that bone. It should come close. Oh, that's a way better way of doing it. All right, there's our two fillets. Well, I'm gonna try to skin these fillets, but this knife is just a piece of junk and um, yeah, there's a lot of people who ask me about this knife, what sort of brand is it they want to get one. I found this knife in Bali and personally I wouldn't suggest to get one of these knives. Like it doesn't have a it doesn't have like a locking mechanism here, so it just forever flops open and closed. And like I've come really close sometimes where I'm holding the knife and I'm like cutting a bit of wood or I've like come back up the stick and this is snapped closed and it's like nearly got my fingers. So I wouldn't recommend getting this knife. If I was gonna get a pocket knife like this, I'd get something with a locking mechanism so you don't have this flopping like this because it's come, I've come real close sometimes to doing this. I'm gonna get a better knife soon. I'm just looking for a real good one. So I think we'll skin these fish. We don't really have a nice surface to do it on, but uh, we can only do what we can do, you know? Oh, there you go. There's a little bit of skin come off. <laughs> Dude, this is a butcher job. Now that's what we're here for. So this is what I always keep in my big backpack. It's a bag just full of like salt, pepper, but it also has this. This is soy sauce. So you know what we're gonna do right now? We're eating raw fish for breakfast and then I'll cook the rest straight away. But look at this, man. A little bit of fish. We'll get the soy sauce on there. Oh man. Oh, this is so good, dude. Look at this. Don't be scared. This is the definition of living right now. I've only been on this rock for like 25 minutes, probably. Probably not even that long. So good. All right, so here's our fish. I've just cut it into like beautiful little fish fingers. Man, this is gonna be a breakfast day. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Things are looking up in this kitchen. I'll give you the hot tip. So, when that's done, I'm actually, I might boil a coffee. We'll have a coffee. And by the time I do all of that, the tide should start dropping. So it's high tide, it's, it's low tide at 11 o'clock today. So uh, it's now 7.16. So we've got breakfast sorted. I'm gonna make a coffee. <gasps> wow, shit, I didn't put salt on the fish. I wanna put salt and pepper on you. Idiot. Give it a salt. And pepper, I love pepper on fish. Oh, look at this. This is, oh, this is actually a disaster. Oh, I've got a fish on. We've actually got a fish on, look, look, look. It's running down the rocks there and I can't stop. Oh, All right, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Oh no. This is, um, this is definitely crazy. So, I was just taking the fish off with those chopsticks and this rod just went ballistic. There is a long, oh, there is a long tom. <gasps> Look at the size of this thing. Oh my God. No way. <gasps> That's mama of all mamas. Come on, come in. If the day continues on like this, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be interesting to say the least. So that was crazy. Literally just taking those fish off the frying pan. This rod just went absolutely ballistic. And um, that was a massive long tom, like really big long tom. And it's just bitten us off like, this is 40 pound leader that I'm using here. And it just, it's just like slowly grazed through it. But um, it's all fun and games. I've got a fish for breakfast. That's all I really wanted. So I think I'm gonna uh, dig into that fish and we'll, uh, we'll make a game plan. Righto, fish is done. 
we'll cover up some mad dog who's been graffing the concrete. So this is just an old, an old t-shirt that I keep in my bag. What I'm gonna do, made a couple of chopsticks. We'll just uh, drain the oil off these bits of fish. Oh, because I went a little bit crazy with the oil. I don't really feel like drowning my body in oil right now, so we'll drain them over there. They're bloody hot. Oh man, they look so good. Here we go. Look at this. Stop it. Oosh. All right, here we go. The first taste of our fish fingers. Golden brown. Mmm. You wouldn't expect anything less. It's absolutely bloody beautiful. Mmm. So, what a good breakfast. That was crazy what just happened to that rod then. So I was sitting here taking the um, fish off the frying pan. Next minute I just hear this like boom, boom. That rod's going off its head like bouncing like this. You live and you learn. This is sick fun. I'm eating some of the most beautiful fish for breakfast. So I reckon that will, um, I might make a coffee. I'll pack up and we'll start walking over to the other side because it's a bit of a walk and then um, Let's see if we can accomplish this, but we've already got one fish, so I'm frothing. This is too good. This is too good. Look at that, man. Oh, how good's coffee? What a morning that was. That was um, unexpected, super fun. Had a beautiful breakfast. Now I'm having a beautiful coffee and um, I'm hoofing it. We're doing it, we're walking. So I've got a bit of a walk ahead of me actually. We've got to walk pretty far to get to this spot where I want to fish. So smash this coffee, enjoy this beautiful nature that I'm in. And we've got about a, I don't know, it's a pretty far walk, but hopefully we can hook up to some big fish land a couple of big dogs and uh hey just have a hell day how can you not have a hell day when you when you're here look at this man this is possibly what well, is by far my favorite place to be in the world just out in the bush no cars no people no city ah, it's bloody beautiful anyway i've got a bit of a steam ahead of me so we'll uh check back in when we're at the next fishing destination and hopefully we get a big 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 bend in the big rod yeah We've made it. We have made it. And I'm, um, to tell you the truth, I'm, I'm absolutely fizzing right now. It's, uh, there's no wind. There's not a breath of wind. We've got the big, there's a big rain cloud up here. It's just sort of like, just, just drizzling now. So there's a little bit of rain around, but um, that's just gonna make it a little bit more interesting. So while I'm in this mangrove system here, I'm gonna set up all my gear get my rod set up and then we'll start punching out. So the tide is not as low as I expected, but we still have two hours before dead low. So I'm sort of here at a good time, I think. So we'll get this rod out we'll start getting ready. Ooh, here comes that rain. It's actually pissing down right now. <laughs> oi, 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 oi. All right, we'll just, oh my God. Just took half a mangrove tree with me. Look at this, man. I don't know if you guys can see, but it is actually pissing down out there. All right, for the first lure that we'll try to chuck on is it's just a 60 gram popper. It's not a big popper, but um, it's, it'll definitely do the job out here. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like that sweet size, you know? It's not too big, it's not too small. This, this has an amazing action in the water, so we'll see how it goes. That rain's starting to stop. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. That thing is huge. That's like, that is a monster starfish. That's my hand. That's way bigger than my hand. It's like nearly one and a half of my hand. And then over here, you just get these like 
clusters and clusters of sea urchins just growing there's small fish there's little mullet so many little mullet in the shallows here it's so nice to see like an ecosystem alive like this it's, it's epic dude look at all the little mullet all those little bait fish so many sea urchins ah beautiful thing Here goes nothing. First cast of the day. It's looking pretty fishy. I can't really get out to the edge right now because I'll be up to my neck in water. So a little bit of time before that tide goes out. Let's see how we go. All right, so it's, uh, it's just gone dead low tide right now. And it's, um, it's not as low as I was hoping. I was hoping that I could stand out there and um, fish into that deeper water, but right now it's dead low tide and this is as low as it's gonna get. So out there I'm about, I don't know, up to my neck in deep water. So I've got to stand back up here, which is, um, it's a little bit of a challenge because I've got my bag on my back, which is full of all, everything that I have. And Standing here, every now and then these like swells are wrapping around the corner of this reef and they're just like soaking me, like I'm getting wet up to here. The bottom of my bag soaking wet, I've got a drone in there. That's going to be interesting to open, but um, I don't know if I should keep fishing here or go back to where we were this morning because there was a big mama GT and that did grab that um, long tom that we caught, so I'm not too sure what I'm going to do. I might stay here for a little bit longer. And then uh, I might peel back up onto the cliff. I don't know, it's a little bit sketchy with these waves coming in. Every now and then you get like a, a decent one come around that corner and it's just like, I'm struggling. <laughs> Look at this man, I just got bitten off by a long top, uh, by a barracuda. But are you joking? Seriously, big barracuda just came through then. This is 90 pound litre, bang, gone. Are you joking me? Where's my lure? I reckon my lure is still floating, eh? I can see it floating. Let's go, let's go. I'm gonna put this bag down. Do not get wet. Oh, this is stupid. This is risky as shit what I'm gonna do right now. I've seen that popper. It's just floating out there. Let's do this. Seriously, what are the odds of that happening? I cast it out, had two little top, top, tops of the popper and a big barracuda came and I saw it just come out of the water. It sort of turned on the popper as it bit the popper, it just bit straight through the line. So I'm going swimming. I'm going to get the lure. There's a little bit of current out here, so this could be sketchy. My bag's on a rock over there. <laughs> ah, 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 this reef is sharp. All right, let's go. <laughs> Here goes nothing. We're going swimming. You're going on my head. All right. Now we're going. I'm going to get sucked down the coast because this current, but um, I want to get my popper back. I can see it. <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful, but look at this, man. Big barracuda's gonna come and bite my toe. Yep. Look at this. Oh, I've got the lure back. Epic. All right, I need to get back to my bag. Whoosh. Oh, I'm getting sucked down hard. All right. Ow. Ow, I've got a hook in my finger. We got the popper. So this is what the barracuda do. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but he's just come in, smashed the lure in front of the lure, and uh, there you go, all gone. 
So now I've got to swim back in and I'm drifting really fast down this thing here. Woo. Oh, anyway, we got our lure back. It's a brand new popper. I wasn't going to lose that. There you go. That's the teeth. 90 pound leader. 90 pound various leader. Bang. All right. All right. Oof. We made it. We made it back to dry land. Not so much dry land, but we got it. Oh. We got our lure back, doggies. Oh, I'm getting out of here. That's a sign. Let's go back to the cliff and we'll uh, start fishing there. I hop out the car, leave the motor running. Why you always talking like you know something? Why you always talking, go and show them something? No stunt double, I do my own stunt. Could take a year, I'll still have that paper coming. Put like 10 on the 90, I keep it so on it. All in the club, we don't do no clubbing Throw a 10 on the 90, I keep it so on it Orange label, I might pop me two I was getting money, but they didn't have a clue Caught the Porsche, coming powder blue Hit the top, we don't need the roof Fools, no, we made the rules I'm with the club, posted by the marina Eating fruits, looking at views that you never could dream of Getting served all this paper, I'm not talking subpoena Gotta flow like a river, but you won't find one that's I was just flying the drone and it has just fallen out of the sky Like literally, screen went black, I couldn't see anything And I could just, I just heard it just drop and it's around here somewhere Fuck. Dude, do not, I cannot lose this drone man I was just literally flying, screen went black and then it just dropped out of the sky. It has like 60%, 40, between 40 to 60% battery still. Man, look at it. Look at the bloody thing, man. No way. <gasps> Where's the battery? Yeah, battery. You're joking, man. I can't believe, I've never done that before, ever. Well, it literally just dropped out of the sky. Oh, that thing's a bit broken. That leg snapped, look. That is so gnarly. I literally was just flying the drone like you would have seen on the footage, and it just, it just dropped out of the sky. And I've been flying this over the ocean, man. How lucky am I that it didn't fall into the ocean and it fell into this tree? Or I think it actually went up there, but it sort of like came rolled down. I don't know, I have no idea, but the battery's like, sort of fits in there, but this thing's broken. This thing snapped here. That's like super wobbly now. Fuck, I don't even know if it's gonna fly again. The lens looks all right. Anyway. Bloody drones, man. I always have problems with this thing. Like, it doesn't fly sometimes. Sometimes it just cuts out. And then, that's the first time I've ever dropped it out of the sky like that, though. Hectic. Lucky that didn't happen over the water, man. I never would have got any of my footage back. Ha! Psycho, dude. Good morning. So, um, it's a new day. <laughs> Making another coffee. The sun hasn't even come up yet. We've got the long tom rod out and um, I made a new little skirt last night. So uh, that's floating in the current and um, it's a new day. So yesterday, after the drone had a um, falling out of the sky incident, I pretty much packed that up. I stood on this rock and I flicked lures literally until I couldn't see. It was like pitch black. Nothing, didn't even have a sniff out here between, I don't know if you guys can see, obviously you can see that island in the background there. Between that island and this island, there were some of the, probably the biggest, by far the biggest GTs I've personally ever seen, just maiming a bait ball, like something that was just incredible to see. Like they were big, big GTs. So uh, man, they were way, way out of casting distance. But um, man, this morning is another beautiful day. Hopefully we can get a big hook up. See if we can get another long time, but um, 
I don't know, I'm pretty excited. There's a group of little dudes up there. They've started a fire and they're making coffees as well. So a couple of local kids. So if we get a fish, it'd be sick to give them a fish. So um, let's just see how we go today. I'm going to fish hard. I've got to get on a boat in a couple of hours back to the island, back to the main island. But um, we'll fish hard today and see how we go. This coffee's nearly done. Blah, frothing for it. Get out of town, look at that. Oh, I just checked the um, the long tom skirt and it is looking beautiful as ever. It's just sitting in the current and it's just dancing away. So hopefully, hopefully we can get the attention of a fish. Um, a lot of people in the comments are saying or asking what is a GT? Like a lot and a lot, a lot of people. So I understand that a lot of people don't actually fish who follow this channel. So a GT is a giant trevally. It's a form of a fish. It's a big, angry, mean, beautiful, strong fighting, angry fish. So they're actually one of my favorite fish to catch as in like throwing lures and stuff because they're just so strong, so powerful and really aggressive. So what I'll do, because we haven't caught our own GT today, I'll roll on a bit, bit of footage from when I caught one before and just so you guys can see the fish that we're actually chasing and so you guys know what a GT looks like. They're a big, beautiful reef bully. Look at the size of it! Oh my god! Yeah! I'm frothing! Frothing, <laughs> yeah! So heavy! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, baby! That's what we come for! Big one! That is ridiculous, man! Yeah, I think it. Tell me something. That is by far my biggest GT I've caught yet. What is it, 20 kilo? More? 25. 20. Maybe 25 kilo. I'm frothing and I'd usually let it go, but the captain wants to feed his family, so I'm gonna give this one to the captain. <laughs> Thank you, brother. That's okay, man. All right, we're gonna get out and bang some more lures out. Yeah, doggies! Woohoo! <laughs> Dude, these rocks are so sharp, man. Here we go. This is my oyster plucker. This is my oyster knocker. Let's go have a big feed. I'm so hungry, man. This is the place where I nearly got washed in last time, so I'm gonna watch my back this time for sure. But it's low tide and there's hardly any swell, so it should be right. The best, man. Oh, it is the, it's just the best thing ever. This is a really sick island, like so, so rugged, man. Everywhere you walk is just like razor sharp rocks, big just cliffs everywhere. I was trying to find somewhere where I could like go for a swim. There's a beach kind of where I'm fishing like back over there, but it's a mission to get to. So I sort of like done a little bit of a stroll this way and it's uh, it just gets more rugged the more you walk. It's so epic. So I've kind of like, uh, I've given up on fishing because it's that time of the day where it's like the sun's pretty much directly above me. The tide's completely stopped. It's just like a dead tide. So there's no water moving. I didn't have too much luck before. So I spent a couple of hours fishing this morning and now, well, now I've got to go, I've got to go back to the boat pretty soon. But there's one thing that I want to do before I leave. It's probably the most important thing I'll do on this whole adventure. So every single time we come on a mission like this, I always keep a bin bag inside my fishing bag or my backpack just purely because if we get a fish which is pretty rare on this channel let's admit it but um if we get a fish i usually would leave this in my bag so we can chuck fillets in it if i want to take fillets home or give the fish away to someone or whatever but 
the reason what we're doing with this bin bag today is I'm going to do a little bit of a clean up on these rocks because um dude I've got about 20 minutes up my sleeve before I got to get back on that boat and these rocks man it's disgusting the rubbish here it's actually like it really pisses me off so this is pretty much what I'm talking about there's just rubbish look at this junk someone's like had a fire but they have so much plastic cigarette packets fishing line like this is all over these rocks and I have seen so many so many turtles swimming through the current today like easy I would have seen 20 plus turtles today just today no fish but so many turtles so like there's turtles right there and then you've got this plastic bag which looks like a jellyfish in the water which is what turtles eat fishing line like it's just an endless amount of rubbish on these rocks like you don't have to walk far to find like pieces of fishing line rope cigarette butts everywhere so we do have a couple of minutes off our sleeve before i'm going to run back to the boat so uh let's do this let's do a little bit of a, a rock beach cleanup save our beautiful waters ways save the beautiful turtles and um let's see if i can fill this bag to the top I've got probably about 15 minutes before I really need to start running across the island. So let's see if we can fill this bag to the top with rubbish. Have a look at this, would you? Those rocks are absolutely disgusting. This here, that's a whole entire bag of rubbish. No shit, it took me about five minutes max to get this bag of rubbish like i could fill up 15 of these bags i reckon if you give me a day look at this i really wish i had more than one bag bin bag inside my bag but i've only got the one but um this is the rubbish that's on the rocks there and this is like not even this isn't even a smidgen of it there is so much there it's just plastic this is just really from fishermen it's just it's disgusting man if you're gonna fish and enjoy what the ocean gives you can you please look after the bloody ocean like this eventually goes into the water and it's gonna kill the turtles and uh oh shut up it just really pisses me off like it doesn't have to be on the rocks on a little bit more of a positive note let's all just stop and look how beautiful this place is man are you kidding it's so nice here anyway I've got to enjoy this beauty, slowly walk back to the boat. Well, not slowly, but start making my way back to the boat. And then um, in the next couple of episodes, we should be on a brand new island doing some dope shit. So uh, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, doggies. I don't want to go home, man. Look at this. This is so sick.